Hello. Hi, Dad. How's the project? Great. I remember missing. Oh. I don't know, really. I'm not sure what to make it, whether it's going to be a blanket, maybe, or a scarf. Babies wear scarves. I don't suppose they do, really. <laughs> Two, two kisses. Hmm. One for you, one for the Barbie. Oh, that's original. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are just like my lovers. Oh, hello. How was school? Oh, was it pretty good? Pretty good? Yeah. Our math was really challenging this well, year. How's that? Okay, look at this. There. Look at this. Mm. It's not even in English, I don't think. That's pretty challenging, I suppose. Anna, what do you think? Oh, don't, I don't think. I have no idea about this stuff. Oh, Mom, No, you no, do no, it. I failed math. Believe me, I failed math. I'll get it. Okay. We'll stick with the challenge. Yeah. They told me, do you like history? <laughs> Hello. Duke. Yes. This is Alan Quartermain. I've got the results of Olivia's pregnancy tests. I think it would be better if you came over here to the office for us to discuss it. How was Angel at to get to the club? There was nothing wrong with that. Nah, just a little paperwork or so. Okay. Just like me? Just yeah. like you. Bye. 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 Mm. Will you be back in time to help me with my homework? Yeah, I'll try. Please, we might. Where you heading, boss man? I've got to go to work. But here's your snack. Uh, I'm not hungry. I'll. You don't like my cooking. I love your cooking. Take care of Anna and Robert. I'll see you later. Oh, see you in a bit. Hi, back. Yo, stay. Yo, I'm sick. No, come south. <laughs> That man can be exasperating. <laughs> Is that for the baby? Yes, can't you tell? Well, sort of. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what it's going to be. A boy or a girl? No, no, what this is going to be, the knitting. Well, I'm talking about the baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told all my friends at school that I was going to have a new baby brother or, or a new baby sister. You are? Mm -hmm. Doesn't show. You know what I mean, Mommy. You're having the baby, but I'm getting it, right? Right. I'm going to be the best babysitter ever. Do you think I'll be? I think you'll be wonderful if you do your homework. All right. <laughs> oh, Mommy, mm -hmm. did you feed my lovebirds? I've been worrying about them. No, I fed them. Don't worry about them. Well, I keep thinking about what Cheryl's friend said. Now, Robin. She said that if the, something happened to the daddy bird, the mommy bird will die. Is that true? No, it's not, darling. Well, then why did she say it? Listen, there are certain people in the world. They have funny ideas and they say strange things. And Cheryl's friend Olivia is one of those people. So you mustn't pay any attention to her. Do you understand? Well, she seemed nice. Well, no, whatever she may have seemed, she isn't. So don't pay any attention to her. Okay? Come in! Yeah, the flowers you ordered, Miss St. John's. Oh, they're perfect. Where'd you like them? I'll put one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this one goes in the bedroom, and that one goes on that table right Yes, ma'am. Make sure they all have fresh water. Yes, ma'am. I hope your father's feeling better today. Pardon me? Your father, I hope he's feeling better. Well, thank you. So do I. I'm going to need one more thing from you. Well, yes, ma'am, if I can. I'd like a nice tray of hors d'oeuvres. Ah, yes, ma'am. You can call room service. Well, I would prefer you handle it. Oh, it's a little irregular. This should help you. I can take care of it. Thank you. Um, I also need two bottles of vintage wine. Huh? Sounds like you're planning a very special evening. I am. My, uh... My husband and I had a lover's quarrel, and I want to make sure everything's perfect. I understand. I also need two candles. 
No problem. And that should be about it? Thank you, Miss Angel. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Maybe you should turn down the bed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> These tests don't lie. And to make doubly certain, I had the lab do it twice. I appreciate it. I really understand how you must feel. Thank you. Is Olivia here with her father? No, I think she's gone back to her hotel. Okay, I'll catch up with her. I know this is hard. Try and take it easy, will you, Duke? I know I have to do. I know how you must feel. You were so sure I was lying. Now you know the truth. I am carrying your child. Let's drink to its life. Pregnant women shouldn't drink. One glass won't hurt me. A whole bottle wouldn't hurt you. Why are you looking at me like that? Why can't you be happy for us and our baby? Oh, stop. Stop! You want me to lose it, don't you? Lose what? You're not pregnant. You're crazy. No, you're crazy. You listen to me. You lied. The tests were negative. There's no baby and there never was. I am. I am carrying your child. My wife is carrying my child. Anna, not you. You made the whole thing up. You're full of evil and sickness. Now go back to New York and don't come anywhere near me. I won't let you leave me. I'll kill myself. Oh, please. What have I ever done but love you? I'm going to give you a list. You did to me what you did to Anna. You did to your father what you did to Julian. Those are lies. Lies! You'll never have a child with anybody else but me, I promise you that. You come anywhere near me or my family again, I'm gonna kill you. I promise you I'm gonna kill you, okay? taken a lot of abuse, but I can't stand rejection. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've been there. I guess we all have, huh? Well, no more. Don, I don't know why this hasn't... Mommy, happened. look. It's easy. All you have to do... I know, but I dropped it. Pick up that stitch. Yeah, wait, wait. Go back, go back. Okay. But I did. You just keep doing it like that. Pick up the no, stitch. No, I, I did. I did do that. Mommy, look. See? Oh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Marcy. Well, she's real excited about our new baby. So is my teacher, too. Oh, that's nice. In fact, Marcy's a little jealous. Why? I think maybe she wants the little brother, too. So you'd like to have a little baby brother, would you? Well... 
Just a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Is your man ever coming home? I hope so. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Speaking of the devil. Well, well, well. Oh, look. What's the occasion? You are. I am? Mm, go get your best dress on. We're going out. We are? Yeah, we're going to go celebrate the baby. Oh, go on, go on. Go, on. Yeah, go have a good time. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Here. Uh, 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 don't, don't run away. Mr. Baldwin, did your friend receive my donation? Oh, yes, 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 he was very relieved and returned very grateful to both of us. You're a regular Robin Hood, aren't you? Well, I prefer to think that I helped a pretty girl out of a jam. Robert Scorpio would have had more than a few questions for you. Are you good friends with Mr. Scorpio? Well enough to dislike him. Would you care to buy me a drink? I'll buy you all you can drink. <laughs> what would you like? I'm thinking. Well, you just take your time. Yeah, I've got some plans. I may even change my lifestyle a little bit. What are you going to do, rob a bank or hustle old ladies in the park? And do hustle pretty girls in the bar, among other things. What the hell is she doing here? Don't ask her. Mm -hmm. Wait. Ignore her. Sit down. Come on. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Lavery, what can I get for you today? Hi. Nice to see you. Ah, uh, two large soda waters with a twist. We're celebrating because uh, we're pregnant. <laughs> Yes, I heard. Congratulations <laughs> to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's the occasion? Every time I'm with you, it's an occasion. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Angel needs to see you in the office. No. At, your, at your earliest convenience. Uh, well, go on, go on. Sorry back. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to the town then. Would you excuse me? Blocking the door. I'm not afraid of you. Maybe after you hear what I have to say, you will be. What are you trying to prove? I know exactly what you're trying to do. Gee, I thought you wanted to be friends. Oh, come on, Olivia. Come on in what? In spite of everything you've tried to do, I've remained silent. But when you use my daughter to further your own selfish, miserable ends... I don't know what you're talking about. I think when Robin's adorable. When you fill her head with your own sick perversions, you've gone too far. I was not sick and... You're demented. No, I'm not. Don't you ever call You me slithered your me. way into my husband's bed, but I will never allow you to frighten my child. Never. You really shouldn't excite yourself like this. You're pregnant. It's not good for you or the baby. The baby's fine. So is its father, and so am I. And I intend to keep it that way. So don't you ever go near my husband again. Are you threatening And me? I brought my child up never to speak to strangers. And I never met anyone as strange as you. So don't you ever speak to my child again or you'll regret it. Are you threatening me? Is there a problem? 
Mm-hmm. Not for long. Mm-hmm. What's that about? She got bored. Just dance. Okay. Dance. 